In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a LinkedIn banner that will make your LinkedIn profile stand out. Before we get started, my name is Digital Girl, and I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more Canva and marketing related videos to help grow your business or brand. So once you're logged into Canva, we can head on up to templates in the top menu, and then head on down to LinkedIn banners. Now, if you don't see LinkedIn banners here in the menu, that's totally fine. This menu does change depending on kind of what's popular at the time. If that's the case, we can head on up to the search bar and just search for it there. As you can see here, there are tons of different LinkedIn banner templates to choose from. And we have an assortment of free banners like this one. There are paid banners, which essentially just have paid elements within the banner. So we can use them, but we'd have to pay for certain things like maybe a stock photo. And then there are pro templates that you can choose from as well. And for pro templates, you do need to have a Canva Pro account. If you don't already have a Canva account, or if you'd like to give Canva Pro a try, I'll leave a link in the description to a 30 day Canva Pro trial. So a pro account will give you access to all of the templates with the little crown on them. And it'll also give you access to millions of free stock photos, remove backgrounds in your photos and more. So as part of this tutorial, I'm going to be creating three different LinkedIn banners just to show you what's possible with Canva and to hopefully give you a few ideas to help you design your own. So let's go ahead and create our first LinkedIn banner. I'm going to start out with a pretty simple one here. And I'll just go ahead and click on it. From there, Canva will give you a few more details when it comes to this template. It does give you the different colors, the fonts, as well as the size. You can also view related templates down at the bottom here. So if we're happy to go ahead and use this template, we'll go ahead and click on customize this template. And then we can go ahead and start replacing some of the details with our own. We'll start off with the name. Next, we'll go ahead and change the title, the font size, as well as the color. An interesting feature that Canva has is that it will actually pull colors from the background image here. And that just helps to keep things uniform and aesthetically pleasing. We can also move things around and resize them manually if we'd like. And there you have it. In just a few clicks, you've got a LinkedIn banner ready to go. So if we head on back to our templates to pick another one, I'm going to select one with an image this time. I find that it is becoming a little more common these days to include a photo of yourself in your LinkedIn banner. So let's go ahead and choose this one here. And when it comes to creating a LinkedIn banner, you're going to want to keep an eye out for templates that tend to be more content heavy on the right hand side, or at least in the center. So this is because when we go and upload our final banner on LinkedIn, our profile picture will be on the left. That means if we place text or graphics on the left, they may end up getting covered by the profile picture. All right, so just like we did with the other template, we'll go ahead and replace all of the information. Next, we can go ahead and change the headshot here. I just selected it, now I'm going to delete the current image. And if you choose to create a LinkedIn banner that includes a headshot or a photo of yourself, be sure to use a different photo other than the one you're going to be using as your profile picture. It will look kind of silly if you've got the exact same picture in both spots. And to upload a photo of yourself, simply head on over to the left-hand side and click on Uploads. And from there, simply follow the prompts to upload your image. Because this tutorial is purely an example, I'm going to go ahead to the stock photos to find an image for us to use. And to use an image, whether it's a stock photo or one that you've uploaded, all we have to do is simply drag and drop it over onto the template. 
from there, simply double click on it to move it around. You can also resize it again by double clicking on it. We can make it a bit bigger and again, just drag it around to reposition it. The last thing that I'll be doing here is playing around with the different colors. So we've got this blue background color here and perhaps we wanted to make it a bit darker. Simply click on the color up here at the top and from there we can go ahead and play around with it. There are document colors here. There are also colors pulled from the image of the person on the right hand side or we can actually choose a custom color. Now I do quite like this color, but now it's hard to read the name and the title. So let's go ahead and select both of those. I'm going to select the first one and then hold down the shift button to select the next one to have them both selected. And then from there, I'll go up to the top and change the text color. And then that way it's just a bit easier to read. So that's it for LinkedIn banner number two. So let's head on back to our templates. And for the third and final banner, I'm going to use the filters on the left hand side to kind of narrow things down and find a more specific banner. Now we can filter by category. We could also filter by style here. One thing that's quite handy is sorting by color. Now, if you have certain colors in your branding or in your logo, you can go ahead and pull colors from the options down here. You can also select a very specific color if you have the hex code, or you can select freely up here. As you can see, it's pulled a bunch of templates that contain a similar color. So go ahead and have a look through and see if there's one that you like. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. So now that we've chosen our template, we can go ahead and replace all of the content. So we'll start off with the title. And then next we'll go ahead and do the name. And of course, as you can see here, the name doesn't fit. So we'll go ahead and highlight it and then decrease the font size. From there, we can go ahead and move things around and resize as needed. And then we can do the same thing with the title as well. Next, we'll go ahead and update the image here. If you've got an image of yourself or perhaps some of your work, you can go ahead and upload it by clicking on the uploads tab on the left hand side, or you can simply use a stock image. Once you find one that you like, simply drag and drop it onto the workspace. And from there, double click to move it around. And once you're happy with your LinkedIn banner, you can go ahead and click on the share button in the top right hand corner to download and use it. From there, click on download. And you can select whether it's a PNG or a JPEG. We can go ahead and leave it as PNG as it is suggested. And then simply hit download, save it to your computer, and then go ahead and upload it to LinkedIn. If you found this Canva tutorial helpful, please do give it a like and subscribe, and be sure to stay tuned for more marketing and branding tutorials.